Hey, hey, YouTube, this is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. And in this video, I want to show you guys another way of making a ton of money. Not only are you guys going to be making a ton of money very quickly, but you can also use this method AFK. Now, this is very similar to some of the other methods that I have on my channel as well, but it is a completely different location and it seems like we actually do get more fish. Now, at the very end of the video, I'm going to show you exactly how much money we're going to be able to make from this, but it didn't take me very long to do this. Now, I definitely recommend that you guys do this either early morning or overnight, but the first thing that you're going to need to do is to get yourself either a deer or a pronghorn of some kind. So this is the location that uh, I need to be at anyway. This is that Bard's Crossing, and I'm actually going to show you at a map here really quickly. So let's go ahead and grab this pronghorn and mount it up on our horse, and let's get over to the area that we need to get this started at. Now, if we pull up our map, this is the location that we do need to place the pronghorn at or deer. Now this is located just north of Bard's Crossing and there's going to be this small little inlet or peninsula here in the water. It's going to look like the water actually flows through it but it really doesn't. Now once we get over to this area you're going to want to go towards this boulder that's here in front of me and there's these kind of rocks or group of rocks right here at the uh, at the bottom of my feet. Get on top of those and then just throw down the carcass. So now what you want to do is just go ahead and stand on top of this rock. It really doesn't matter if you stand on top of this rock but it seems to be the best location that I have found by doing this method and you pretty much can just go completely AFK. Now I have sped up the time so you can kind of see how many fish are in the area. Now if you haven't done it right you will definitely notice it because the fish won't be coming in and you won't see any bubbles on the right hand side of the screen. Um, as you can see the fish just keep coming in and I, I, you can't really see right at the bottom of the boulder, but what's really nice about this area is the water actually flows all the fish right to the bottom of this boulder, and you're going to be able to just jump off and collect them all. Now, if for whatever reason the fish are not currently spawning within the area, go ahead and pick up your carcass and ride a little bit away so that it is outside of your mini map, and then come right back and place the carcass in the exact same spot. Now, you can go ahead and collect all the fish at the base of this rock. Now, if you can't see all of them, definitely go ahead and use your eagle eye because you'll be able to spot all of the dead fish pretty quickly and very easily. Now, this only took maybe roughly about 10 minutes, and you could see how many fish are at the base. Now, this next spot is a separate clip that I did do, and it's getting a little bit darker. Uh, I do feel like the best times of day are to do it like like early in the morning, so at dawn, and then pretty much overnight, like from like, you know, that 10 to like 4 o'clock in the morning-ish, those seem to be the best time. Now, I, for whatever reason, my recording made a mistake, but the overnight session actually produced the most amount of fish. I let it go for an entire night from like 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock at night until that 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, and you should have seen the pile of fish that were at the base of this rock. I literally left and came back and did something completely different while this was going on and i had it was a ridiculous amount of fish i don't even remember how much money i made but it was i was pretty close to 100 bucks or not or if not more than 100 dollars i just can't remember exactly but for whatever reason that recording did not work so i was kind of it was kind of unfortunate about that but as you can see at the base of this rock there are a lot of fish and the fish just keep pouring in so whenever you are done collecting, and the collecting part will take a significant amount of time, so hopefully there's not griefers in the area that come and kill you while you're trying to go ahead and pick up all these fish. But once you actually get them in your satchel, you're not going to have to worry about them being able to grief you anymore because if they do kill you, they're currently in your inventory and you no longer have to worry about that. But we're going to go on over to a butcher here. I'm going to pick up the carcass and we're going to bring it with us. Now you guys can choose to pretty much go to one of two locations. You can either head on over to Strawberry, which is there's a butcher there, which is the one that I prefer to go to. Or you can actually head all the way down to Blackwater, which is still relatively close, but it's a little bit further away in my 
in my complete honest opinion. Now, when I arrive at Strawberry, I am getting shot by uh, a couple of griefers. So I quickly run to the butcher and try to sell off all of my fish right here, as you can see, making quite a bit of money. Now, I do make about $60 with this AFK method in an overnight period or evening to overnight period. So definitely check that out. And you can obviously tell it is still completely dark outside. But hopefully this helps you guys out and helps you make a ton of money in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Not only that, but it is a completely AFK method. So you don't have to worry about actually hunting and doing all those things. You just have to worry about the griefers and picking up the fish whenever you're ready. But if this video helped you guys out at all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. And until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.